my friend, today I brought one of the most powerful JavaScript objects. The proxy object enables you to create a proxy to another object which can intercept and redefine fundamental operations for that object. If you have watched my video about the JavaScript decorators proposal, you find this class very alike. Decorators and the proxy object have the same goal. They help us intercept and or override behaviors in functions, classes, or objects. We are gonna build an application to inspect how long a function takes to finish and print it out on the screen by just decorating our function with an extension. We also use meta programming practices by using the JavaScript reflect object to retrieve class names, functions, and much more. Are you ready? Then let's begin. <laughs> Hey, don't forget to leave your like in this video and subscribe to this channel. I've been publishing videos every week here and also publishing blog posts on my LinkedIn. Ah, and I've been creating a full content bundle about JavaScript streams where I will teach you the most powerful feature of JavaScript to handle big data of data in both web streams and Node.js streams. The link is also here in the video description. Take a look at the course grade. I think you're gonna enjoy it. I'm using the Node.js 18, so you should use the same version as me, so you won't have anything broken by the end of this class, all right? All right, so this class will be very straightforward, so you can see what we could do using proxy objects, all right? So first of all, let's create a file here. So I'm gonna call it index.js, and I will build a class, all right? Let's call it database. And I will have a function called create, all right? And then it will just return created and that's it, all right? So let's instantiate our database and put a console log create response will be database.create, all right? Let's run our file. So working fine, all right? Perfect. Well, what else we could do? Let's create a property here. So let's imagine we have a person which has a name. All right. And create will set up this value. So this person name will be test. And then we could have the test here. Okay. Person. Let's see what goes. All right, so our name was set when using create, and that's it for now, all right? Well, the first thing I wanna do here is to intercept this function and actually add more behavior if, if I wanted to, all right? So using the proxy object, look how nice is it? We're gonna use proxy, and the first argument will be actually the object we, we were supposed to pass there, all right? And then I'm going to intercept every time we try to set this value. So using uh, equals here, we are actually setting a new name for this property, right? We are setting a new string there. So I'm going to use set. And set have all the functions there, all right? So we're going to grab the current context, all right? Property key. And then we're gonna get the new value. And then I'm just gonna log it. So current context, property key, new value, all right? But then I'm gonna return true. And as I'm trying to intercept this value, I should make them to set them out, but let's check if it's working. Oh, look how nice is it. We got the log from our proxy, right? But the final product didn't change, right? Our person here didn't receive the value. So to do so, we're gonna grab the current context on the property key, which have the new value, all right? Right now, we are just making everything work as expected, all right? Pretty straightforward, but with this, we get a lot of ideas. All right, but as you may have watched my video about JavaScript decorator functions for the native proposal, right? 
we could see that we could annotate this using at and some name, like anything, something closer, all right? As it's not ready yet in the JavaScript on Node.js, we could have the same behavior by using the proxy object. Let's check this out. So I'm gonna create a constructor, all right? And then I'll create here a decorator function, all right? So the decorator function is gonna receive the prototype of our class. Prototype of our class, all right? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try calculating how long this create function will take to process, all right? So I'm gonna console log here, creating, and I will do some heavy computation here. So the 10e4, all right? For let e equal zero, e less than equal counter, i plus plus. All right, so we're gonna, here for us, it's not changing much, but when we, we are trying to process this, we're gonna see uh, a few changes, all right? Perfect, what we need to do? We need to inspect the create and we want to see how long it will take to run this whole function and return values, all right? Perfect, so let's call our, uh, actually here, decorator, and we're gonna pass there the prototype of our function, all right? Uh, if you go to the other class, this could have been done like using decorator as this, all right? But it's not ready yet, so we cannot use the syntax yet here without any library. All right, so first of all, I will want to get all the functions, so we're gonna insert the values there, all right? So we're gonna use reflect, ooh. Reflect to get all keys from our prototype class, all right? But I want to remove, or I want to ignore the constructor, all right? So I'm gonna filter item, which the item is different than constructor. And let's log these keys. So I'm gonna call fns as functions, right? And let's see what it brings out for us. Well, we could see only the create function here, right? But what if we have like read as well? Now we have read and create, all right? So we have all the functions except the constructor. All right, I'm gonna remove this read for now, and I'm gonna use just the create from this one. All right, so right now I'm gonna navigate in each function we just got from here, and I will add a proxy object to try inspecting the speed of this function. So for each function we have, I'm gonna do some hack, <laughs> oh, very nice. So we're gonna have the prototype class in this function position, all right? And we're gonna replace it with a proxy object, all right? So the proxy object we're gonna have, uh, which we had before, so prototype class fn, all right? And then we're gonna change a few things here. So we can set the proto as new, so with this, we can break any uh, inheritance if you want here. And then I'm gonna use the apply function. So every time we are calling a function behind the scenes, it's calling apply, all right? So it receives fn, this arg, and the arg list. So you can see that this proxy object for a function is pretty different than the set function we have here, all right? Nice. Well, when they call the apply function, then we can uh, calculate it, all right? So first of all, I'll put here a console.log, and I'll put here fn.name was called with arg list arts, all right? And then we should get the result, so we're gonna actually execute the function using this arg and the arg list, all right? And then we're gonna return the result, 
as we've done here, right? So the default behavior for setting an object was done by using this line, all right? Right here, we're gonna call the apply just to make sure the function will be executed as we expect. All right, I'm gonna save it and let's check it out if it's working fine. So here, create was called with no args. But what else, what if I add here name, Eric? We could see it was called with an object and so on, all right? Or, yeah, yeah it's because it's an object, right? So we could have JSON string phi here. All right, so we have all the values. So this doesn't make sense much on the log. All right, now we intercepted our create, we actually can try inspecting this speed. How, how hard is it? Look how amazing. Console.time will be speed and after time end with the same name. Just it, just it, save it, and then we can see the result. Ooh, now we are handling this whole value. Well, we could actually, comment this whole logs that we have here just to make things clear, right? So here we can see the speed of those functions. It's a bit different every time. Ooh, very nice. So now we are using proxy to intercept functions and proxy to intercept properties or objects and so on. Well, in the future, I would say we're gonna use the decorators from the decorators proposal, but right now you could use the reflect in the proxy object to hack the JavaScript default behavior. Oh, very nice. I left here in the video description a bunch of links for you to follow me after this video. There, I also left my training courses in Portuguese and some of them I'm building for English speaking people. In case you want to be notified about all new content produced, I invite you to join our Telegram channel. Decorators and proxies help us a lot to add functionalities to existing functions, and the sky is the limit for you to explore even more about them. I invite you to check out my previous video about the JavaScript decorators proposal, so you can go even further on the subject. Ufa, I hope you found this chat useful, and don't forget to check the content in English playlist here on the channel. I'll be building a lot of new content and I'm sure you're gonna like it. Comment below what you wanna see in the next videos and please send this video to all people at your work, your friends, and your study groups. I'm sure it can inspire them as well. I hope this content has exceeded your expectations. I'm Eric Wendell and I will see you in the next video.